Albuquerque animal control officers are looking for a killer pit bull. It's one of two pits that fatally mauled a chihuahua as a small dog's nine-year-old owner watched this morning. It happened in a neighborhood near 8th and Bridge Southwest. News 13's Mike Paluska was there. I was scared and that I didn't want puddles to die. Those are the words nine-year-old Julian Tenorio told his father just moments after Puds, his two-year-old chihuahua, was viciously attacked and killed by two pit bulls. Happened real fast. I mean, you're talking about two pet bulls here. Rick Tenorio says Puds was out front going to the bathroom when he heard the dog yelping. They were killing my dog. They were and I picked up some rocks and started throwing the rocks at them and hitting them and, and it seems like they didn't even feel it. Julian saw his dog after the attack. He was like getting hurt, he was all limping and his paw was like, it looked like it was hurt. And just minutes after Puds was killed, the father walked just a couple of hundred feet over here to the Bosque and buried his dog in this grave, already trying to erase the trauma his son just saw. One of the pit bulls was tracked down by animal control. After a brief struggle, the dog got into the cage, shaking with his tail between his legs. The other got away. If they saw his buddy get caught, he might have just ran home and stashed him. He'll pop out sooner or later. Can you find this animal for me? No, that's not the one. Okay. It, it looks identical to that one. It was like a twin. I hope they catch those dogs, the other dog. That way it won't happen to a, a little boy or a little girl, you know, walking the path or something. Julian has another dog named Precious, but says it's not the same as Puds. He used to lay in my bed a lot with me. Mike Paluska, KRQE News 13. The pit bull's owner could face at least two misdemeanor charges for letting the dogs run loose and for owning a vicious animal.